Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft episode in this awesome world. So, what's the agenda for today's episode? Of course, last episode we did the mob farm, which currently doesn't work, and the iron farm, which works extremely well. So, I also did this. Hold on. Game. Let me, let me use my rockets, thank you. I've started the outside wall, and I gotta say, it's looking pretty sleek. I can just imagine this design all the way around. The redstone looks super cool against the black deep slate, so I'm super hyped for that. So that, that I've said so, so many times. That is going to be the agenda for the day. We are going to want to not die from that much fall damage. It was crazy. But yeah, that is that is our goal for today. We are going to want to finish the wall completely. And with the wall completely done, we'll actually be pretty close to finishing up the mega base here, which has taken me a long time to build. So I'm super excited to finish it. So without further ado, let's get into making the base. If you do go on to enjoy today's episode, this did take hours to make, so, you know, if you could leave a like and subscribe, it'd really mean a lot and show me your support on this. Like I said, it took hours, but it was a lot of fun, so enjoy the video. status update so I wanted to do the uh, long stretches real quick before I started on uh, the edges and building it up and I have officially finished the other three so I am going to take a small break and then I will do the rest of these corners I think I have yeah I have three more to do and then I will build up similar or same as how these two pieces are done and then I will have to put the stone brick floors in and then I think I want to go get some cobbled deep slate because I norm I normally mine with a silk touch so I get deep slate which is what this is all built out of to kind of decorate the side of this because I don't want it just looking the same I kind of want like pillars and that kind of stuff you know so yeah I'm gonna take a small break and then I will get back to that Okay, so after hours of mining and hours of placing blocks, finally have the walls completely done, at least up to the water. So, it's time to build them up. I probably still don't have enough resources to do this, so I know I'm just going to have to go mining again, and uh, I've already mined for hours to get this done, but it's going to be worth it, so... Let's get that. Alright, with that out of the way, it's time to actually give this thing... Oh no, I fell in. <laughs> A floor, like I've done here. So it's time to go get a stone cutter, and yeah, I don't know where I am. This is scary. So now looking at the base, it is done from here. This is this is it, except for lighting it up, and that's that's about it. It looks amazing from out here. I love the look of it. It's awesome. I filled in all the floors, except for right there, there's a bubble elevator. But now, it is time to light it up. I've made 
44 blocks of iron worth of lanterns, so it should be enough to light this whole thing up. Obviously, it is spawn proof except for like the, the sides, so this is kind of pointless, but it'll make it look better. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. With all the lighting done in this place, I lit up the ground a little bit. I don't want it fully lit, but it is lit enough. The lantern's placed all around the wall. Looks pretty good. Uh, the glowstone in there, I don't know how I feel about it. I like it, but I don't at the same time. Looks good, but it doesn't at the same time. I don't know. And I've fallen down here. Anyways, with all of that done now, I think the final thing to top this all off is adding a couple sextuple beacons to really spice up the power that you have inside this mega base. So I'm thinking one on this side and one on that side. That way our skyline look of this place from over there looks really cool. So I have enough wither skeleton skulls to make one sextuple beacon, but I need about 17, 18 more in order to do a second one. So I'm going to get to killing some wither skeletons. And I think the mega base is officially done. So I'm super, super excited about that. It's a great achievement. Uh, you know, I've been working at this for quite a long time. It took about 450 to 500 Minecraft days to fully build the entire base from start to finish. It took about that long. So it's super awesome to finally have that done. And I have a lot of big projects planned for in the near future. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It means a lot and it's free to do. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.